Let's set up the true bore alignment system on the lathe. There are several spindle adapter options available. This is a D style, D14. It has three cam lock pins that measure 5 eighths in diameter. We also offer it in a D15 and a D16 spindle adapter. Also the A style adapter for CNC type lathes is available in A25 and A26. This is the A26 spindle adapter plate. The true bore alignment system typically ships with the spindle adapter installed but with the cam lock pins removed. We recommend for ease of installation to remove the spindle adapter by accessing the cap screws through these access holes. The heads are trapped in between the steel plates so you have to back them out in sequence. Once removed, install the three cam lock pins, or if it's a D1, 5, or 6, there will be six pins. This scribe will get you close to the depth you need to be. Let's see if I can get that to focus. You will thread them in until that line is close to flush, and then you will continue until the slot lines up with the screw hole. Then proceed to do that with the rest of the pins. Now let's go over to the lathe and make some fine adjustments to the cam lock pins. Install the spindle adapter on the lathe. Rotate the cam locks. If they don't rotate, you need to back off the cam lock pin. So we will go one re revolution out. It's important that the mark on your cam locks are between the range indicated on the spindle. Take a little time and make sure all the cam locks lock down within the locking range marked on your spindle. They will come out in different locations and that's all right as long as they are between the indication marks when locked. At this point we will install the three keeper screws that keep the cam lock pins from rotating. They will go in these locations. Let's install the three cap screws that lock the rotation of the cam lock pins. With the rotation of the cam lock pins locked, the true bore can be set back on the spindle adapter plate. Make sure the surfaces are clean where they come together. Tighten the three 10 millimeter cap screws down in sequence until the spindle adapter and true bore have been brought together. Let's head back to the lathe. It is good practice to have a piece of wood protecting the ways on your lathe in case you drop the chuck when mounting. Be careful, it's heavy. Use a lift if needed. It's good practice to mark the spindle adapter plate, there's a reference mark on the spindle 
use a center punch or a scribe to mark so you reinstall in the same rotation each time. Now let's go over installing the true bore alignment system on a CNC style lathe with the A style spindle adapter. Again, the spindle adapter will come mounted to the true bore alignment system. First, remove the spindle adapter. Next, install spindle adapter on the lathe. Make sure mating surfaces are ultra clean. The spindle adapter can only be installed at one rotation. Install the four or six Allen head cap screws, depending on spindle adapter. Now that the spindle adapter is installed, we will torque the mounting bolts. Once the spindle adapter bolts are all secured, 55 to 60 foot pounds, we can now install the true bore alignment system. Before mounting the true bore alignment system on the spindle adapter, ensure the axial adjustment screws are not protruding into this recess as it will interfere as you install it on the spindle adapter. Next, tighten the three 10 millimeter by 1.5 cap screws. Next, we'll torque the 10 millimeter cap screws that hold the true bore to the spindle adapter. Now that we have placed the test indicator on the center plate, which is the axial adjustment plate, we can remove the runout. First, find the low position in the adjustment plate. The low position is position number two. Ensure that the opposing adjustment, number four, is loose and allows for travel. Now we can tighten this adjustment screw, causing the true bore to raise. Once the runout is under one thou, we can move to the face. With the test indicator placed on the face of the true bore alignment system, we can now bring the face into alignment. We will first find the high position on the face and tighten. Then find the low position and loosen. Tighten and loosen opposing radial adjustment screws until the face of the true bore alignment system is within one thou run out. It is possible to warp the front plate slightly during this process. Don't worry about permanent damage, but it will affect the indicator reading. 
it will dip by the adjustment screws. So keep torque to a minimum around 10 foot-pounds max. If you're getting a noticeable dip by the adjustment screws, reduce tension and keep working on it. Now that we have the run out under one thou, it is now time to install the chuck. With the three 10 millimeter mounting bolts lightly snugged, it is now time to insert a shaft or ground mandrel into the chuck jaws for indicating. I'm using my action truing mandrel for this. Make sure there's no crumbs between your, your jaws and your workpiece. Now that the six jaw chuck is attached to the true bore alignment system, with the use of the three 10 millimeter mounting bolts. Make sure that they are only hand tight. Very light torque is necessary. Finding the high position tap the chuck until run out is less than one thou. Now we can finish torquing the chuck. If after torquing, run out increases beyond one thou, loosen and redo this process. Oops. In this instance, the chuck did not move during finished torquing. So the true bore alignment system is ready for barrels and actions and any other lathe work you want to throw at it. <laughs>